First things first, congratulations, Dad. Oh, thank you. Hey, a thank newborn. You. Yep. You're back in newborn territory. Back in the game, baby. What, is it, what does it look like? You know, I was quite young when I had my first, you know, daughter. So, mm -hmm. you know, 29. So, you know, now 46. So. <laughs> yeah. 29. Yeah. Wow. So 46, you know, is now a whole different ball game. But it's cool. You can enjoy things that stressed you out before. Mm -hmm. You know, crying and being up all night and the restlessness. I'm, I'm used to all that. Like, you know, the, the, the nights of like passing out and waking up and going, I literally don't remember the last 10 hours. What a great night's sleep. I literally haven't had that <laughs> since 2006. I loved your reaction when you were like, you were 29 when you had kids? Like, yeah, I know. How do the two of you feel about, you know, little Dylan? Like, does it give you at all the baby fever? Well, yeah. <laughs> Not you know. so much Andy. Yeah, I mean, maybe. yeah, for we sure. Were talking, right? Yeah, we're kinda getting a, a little bit. Place. I mean, I we've talked because you always wanted to raise kids together. Yeah, the cousins. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, maybe this time around I'll be able to jump in. Because the first time Joe, you know, was younger and I, I was younger and I, I just didn't have kids in that phase of my life. Yeah. So maybe mm -hmm. this time around we can get in sync. And we're actually going to be talking about things and relating the way we actually do in real life. No one's ever seen that. No scripts, just us. Right, Matt? Yeah. Getting to watch this podcast, even after one episode, I feel like I know you guys individually now cool. a little bit. Cool. The reptile thing. Yeah. It is fascinating to me. I think because it's not every day that we meet like a reptile expert. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your reptile family. How big is it? And, it's uh, extensive. It's an yeah. Yeah. Do you it's, name yeah. them? Um, yeah. I'm, I, I do. A lot of the babies are just the babies. <laughs> Things like that. Whenever they have, they have the, the kids. I don't necessarily name all the kids also because I have to part with them and it's tough. That's the hardest so, part. You don't name all the but, kids because that'd be weird. <laughs> so, so your your I mean, reptiles all, are mating. Like 40 of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, I, I'm not just there. Yeah, there's a purpose to it, you know. There's a lot of these. So reptiles have to. Look, sir, gentlemen. Sorry, we're, we're talking sorry. reptiles. Sorry, here. sorry. Come on. He doesn't name all the kids. There's like 40 of them yeah. when they're born. Can you imagine? Are Jazz, I'm just going to go Jesus. <laughs> Jerry. Juniper. Juniper. No, that's not Juniper. That's Gerald. Jake. Oh, God, Matt, will you just Gerald shut up? Jake. Sorry. Yeah, I, I've got a lot of iguanas, tortoises, uh, bearded dragons, things mm. like that. But I, there's a purpose to it. When they get sick, it's a good indicator to the health of the environment. So these species we need to work with because we're losing them rapidly. So a lot of these animals that I have are ones that I'm captive breeding so we could take the demand off the wild populations and also help them. So there's a purpose to it all. Listen, I thought this was just a hobby. You're a full-blown conservationist. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. really. Into it. It's, I was born with it. I don't know why, but when I look at little reptiles and amphibians, it's the same thing people get when they see a little puppy or wow. something. I get that like little feeling inside, you know? Yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. It, it makes me so happy to see you with such a big smile on your face talking about <laughs> your passion for reptiles. You're with your brothers. You're doing this podcast. It feels like you're in a really moment right now. Yeah. You and your girl Chili. I mean, yeah. my goodness. How happy are you? Yeah, my life is, is in complete bloom right now. Oh. Um, I get to hang out with these guys. I get to spend time with a, an amazing woman like Chili. Yeah. I've never gotten to be able to experience that kind of a relationship before. So it's it's quite special. She's really, really special human being. I, I wish more people on the planet were like her. We'd be much better off. Uh, you are you are lighting up right now talking <laughs> about her. What What yeah. is it that sets her apart? Her morals and her values, uh, the way she treats her family. She loves so my important. family. It's so, so important. We get along. Like She's like, yeah, okay, we're cool. talking on the phone. She's like, oh, my mom's calling me. I'm like, go get it. I know how important that is. Ah, Same yes. thing. Like, my mom calls me. It's not like, you know, why are you talking to your mom? It's like, oh, your mom. Oh, go, go talk to your mom. Right, you know? I'll peel back. We yeah. just, we, we, it's weird. You know, we, we have similar upbringings. We have similar families. There are similarities that you wouldn't necessarily think between us and it really works so mm -hmm. so she loves your family yeah and uh, i love have, hers too great great family ha have you met her son yes he's yes such a Trump. talent he's so cool such so cool talent. i know i know and he's he's getting in shape right now and he's just yeah he's He's like making me feel like I gotta start doing push-ups and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, Listen, maybe he gets you in the gym. Maybe yeah. You teach him about, yeah. about the reptiles. I can't get him in the gym. So, you know, <laughs> oh God, yeah. Joey can't. Yeah. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. You so, guys, it seems like you've been lucky enough to spend some time with her. She's yeah. Awesome. She's awesome. She's yeah. awesome. She's really. Yeah. She's, she's really, really. She really. Yeah. Good. She's really cool. Really. I, cool. I can't. I can't explain it. It's, she's so sweet and so wonderful. Yep. It's really. She's really really cool. Yep. Can I ask how you guys met? Yeah, we met, uh, we were just uh, working together and we met at one of these events. Working together? Yeah, we were at these like events where she was performing and I was doing like a, like a Q and A type of oh, thing. Oh, got and it. We met in passing and it was just real friendship for, you know, like five or six months, just just talking on the phone, long distance, like getting to know each other, seeing each other here and there, but really just keeping it friends and being, you know, let's, let's keep our priorities straight here. We want to know 
you know, what we're all about. We don't want to take this too fast. Excuse like me for that. divulging your yeah. personal information, but didn't you guys like wind up on the same plane or something? Oh yes, you're right. Okay. Oh, so that sounds like fate. Yeah, well, really, oh, I right? believe in that stuff. Right? I really do. This yeah. is like this serendipity. Is were, like we were all scattered. Matt was at like Mercy leaving or something, and then this is very true. I talked to him and when he landed. And he was like, "You're not going to believe it. I, I met like the most wonderful person." I like, was I was sitting yeah. behind her. Yeah. We had met. And, yeah. yeah. So so yeah. we so we were at this thing. We were working. We just said hello and the passing and. Probably nothing would have come of that, but there was this big snowstorm. I had to be back for work, so I was getting them to change my flights all around. The only flight I could get was a connecting flight through Atlanta. Mm -hmm. She lives in Atlanta, so yeah. she was flying on that flight. So really, it was the flight talking and then afterwards saying, hey, you know what, let's keep in contact. That's really what made it, and it almost did not happen. I mean, literally an hour before the flight took off, they were like, okay, we got you on this flight, you gotta go. So it was just like that. There it is. Thing. Do you call her Chili? Yeah, I, I do. I started, it's weird, I started out calling her Chili, but really, I mean... What do you guys call her? Well, I, I call her Chili, but the problem is I say the word Chili so oh, often yeah, that's that right. I'm like, oh, God, it's so chilly in here. Oh, like, oh. okay. I didn't know <laughs> it's chilly like, outside. Yeah, I did, I did, it's oh, chilly inside. Yeah. I did that too <laughs> for a while. And she always looks, and I'm like, no, I meant the room. Oh, Listen, yeah. it's chilly season. Yeah. Yeah. It's chilly season up yeah. here. I'm hoping we get her as a guest on the podcast. Hey, yeah, it's possible. Has that idea been floated? Oh, yes. it, uh, well, yeah, yeah, we can yeah, throw yeah, that yeah, around. We can throw yeah. it around, for yeah. sure. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely thinking about working together, for sure. You said earlier that, mm. you know, the idea of being able to all raise kids together, I yeah. think that that's so special. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like that's in the cards for you in the near future? I, I hope. That's 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 the game plan. Yeah. You know, that's what we're trying to do, you know? Before we oh. get too old. Before we get too old. Yeah. yeah. Is that what Chili's trying to do? Yeah, hey, you know, <laughs> I'll, let, I'll, let, I'll let her speak. Okay, we've got married and happy. Yeah. We've got really happy. <laughs> Where does we've where got does Andrew absolutely miserable and alone? <laughs> no. he, listen, listen. I'm just gonna point out he did come in all black today. Yes, yes. I, like, so, I do wear a lot of black. Where, where do you stand in all I of this? Do wear are, a lot of black. are you? Do you have someone special? I, in your life? I am. I am. I am single at the moment, okay. but I'm not. Uh, I'm not closed off to the Gone universe. Gone but not forgotten. What the hell are you <laughs> Providing me about, a, uh, a someone special, you know, that would be great. If okay. I, when I meet that yeah. person and it works, it works. Well, maybe no, you need I'm to smart. go to a convention. Uh, apparently, <laughs> yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. 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 It's true. You cannot trust anybody. You cannot trust anybody these days. That's right. Well, we can trust somebody. Right e here, each guys. other. Right here. The circle of trust. For the most part. The circle of trust. For the most part. Let's just rewind a little bit. How does the Brotherly Love podcast even come about? For years, it's like, would you guys do a reality show, right? And, and, and you know, and honestly, we've explored certain avenues and venues and none of it felt right, none of it worked. It's all about, it's all very salacious based for the most part and that's not who we are. You, you wanna know? protect your peace? We, we just, yeah. we just but, but that's just yeah. not who no. we are. No, and then we developed a, a, a half hour comedy actually um, called Lawrence House with the producers of Wedding Crashers and it's unbelievable. And that'll be out later this year. That, that's a scripted series. They were hoping that comes Single out camera, here. it's really cool. So, is this, but, is this new information? It's this fairly new, new it's fairly new. Yes, I didn't know is. he was even gonna be yeah, talking no, no. about this No, no, yeah, it's new. So we thought, Thought, well, maybe this is sort of in, like we'll never do the reality route, but this is kind of actually us. a glimpse like, into our lives. Yes, type of yes, you are. yes. it's yeah. come to us. It's like it's like a podcast about nothing. It's a it's dinner a, it's table a conversation. Dinner table yeah. conversation. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because really we were saying of podcast. It, it, I mean, truly, kind of, it's, yeah. it's truly we were thinking. Why don't we do a podcast about nothing? No, I mean selfishly so. That was why I was so excited about this podcast. Is because it was an excuse for me to sit around a table. Yeah. and talk to my brothers and get to hang out with them. Right. right. That's something I really and we're doing it more than we have in a long time. Yeah. People are already going like, I had no idea you guys literally roast each other like that all the time. Right. And you're, oh, Ruth. Ruthlessly. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Ruthlessly. Yeah. Ruthlessly. If I'm not working, working, I try to shower like two times a, a month? week. A week. Perfect. Three times Matt's, a week. Matt's exactly. armpits uh, smell like a drive through at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> double, double and fries? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Protein style, guys. Yeah, oh, nice. Oh. Perfect. Not even a sweet bun to mask the smell. And the best part is that I feel like after a, a really like deep dig or a deep burn, you're like laughing 0. 0.5 totally. seconds yes. later and you're hugging totally. it out. Yes. There is no, yeah, there is no, uh, there's no animosity between yeah. the three In of us. In fact, there's admiration yeah. for how, yeah. how good, <laughs> that's how a good, good is how your good zinger. is the burn. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well played. Exactly. That hurt me deep. Touche. Good job. Touche. Boy, yeah. that cut deep. I'm still bleeding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That'll leave a mark. Yeah, that'll leave a mark. For years to come. <laughs> yeah.